In this video, I'm going to show you how to make procedural sand inside Blender, which works well with both Cycles and EV. Okay, we're in Blender now. I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to add in an icosphere. Uh, I'm going to give it some five subdivisions and shade it smooth. Let's go to the shading pan. All right, uh, I'm going to start by adding a new material, obviously. And uh, let's first start by giving the sand its, you know, the bumpiness which it gets, you know. Uh, so I'm going to add in a wave texture. Where is it? Over here. Control, shift, left click on the node uh, to uh, preview it. And uh, if you have no triangular enable, that is. And uh, press control T to bring up the map in. And change the uh, object coordinates from generated to object. And there you go. You should have something like this. Uh, now this is too much. This is a lot of uh, waves. So I'm gonna bring it down like That maybe about Three looked nice. There you go. I like this and uh, Sand is not straight, you know, it's a little distorted. So I'm gonna distort it like uh, This don't go too much because that's gonna look weird. So let we just have to find a nice amount that you like I I think I like something like 6 is good and let's crank up the details you know so that you get that uh, thing you get that uh, nice looking uh, cracks sort of thing cool uh, now the wave texture looks too sharp I mean there's only two colors over here there's black and there's white so it's too sharp so let's soften it a little by bringing in a converter color ramp and uh, I'm gonna change this white to something like a dark gray so now you know it's a little smoother than before and uh, I can bring this in and now I'm gonna bring in my bump node plug this into the height and plug the normal into the normal and if you preview it you should have something like this which kind of looks like the texture of sand cool uh, next we need to add in the color to make it look like sand obviously so I'm gonna add in a noise texture for that and um, plug in the same object coordinates into the noise texture and if I preview it it should be something like this uh, let's add in our colors I'm gonna bring in another color ramp the thing is sand does not have is not like one single color all right sand is like composed of tiny 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 rocks with several colors so basically this is up to you so to uh, add whatever colors you want your sand to be i'm gonna go for something like a uh, four shade you know i'm gonna go uh, take in like a nice beachy color over here add one in the middle I'm bring it over here and kind of make this darker like that and uh, add one more bring it over bring it over here and um, actually I like this I'm gonna make this a little wider something like that and uh, I think that's a little too sharp There you go, that looks nice. I'm gonna bring up the browns. So this is the color that I'm going for and uh, in order to make it look like sand grains, you actually need to bring up the scale. So go crazy with it. I think 150 was what I went for. And uh, here's what 150 looks like. Cool. And uh, now plug this into the base color and if you preview it on the principal BSCF, you should have something like this. And right now it's very reflective. So let's bring up the roughness to something like 0 0.8 and now there you go you have something that looks like sand so i'm i'm actually happy with this i think this looks nice so there you go that's how you make uh procedural sand textures in blender now the thing with procedural textures is that the possibilities are endless all right if you want to Try a different color you can actually try like an infinite combinations of colors you can make the sand radioactive if you want so in the end uh, I, I I've just shown you how to get there and uh, what result you want that is entirely up to you so 
this is how you make precision sand inside blender and uh, i've actually used this sand material for my a lot of my recent artworks um and i really like this you can use it uh for you know like zoomed out uh wide shots showing a huge landscape and you can also use it for uh, shots where you know you're showing a close-up of the sand so i think this is a really good uh, material setup and it gives really good results so i hope you like it if you found this video helpful uh, and uh, this video helped you uh, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and uh, for more new good content like this please give my channel a subscribe as it would really help me make more videos so goodbye i will see you in another video